And it's me again, Merv from Elderich Entertainment. And uh, today I am taking my 2016 RT Challenger Scat Pack up to Performance by Fisher, which is one of our local performance shops. They have done some work for me in the past and they're reasonably priced and they actually specialize in kind of high performance applications. They install like pro charger superchargers and they do some mundane muffler work and stuff like that but obviously if you want to know a little bit of information about uh, high performance applications you should probably go to the experts now I have a background in auto mechanics when I was in the Marine Corps uh, I was an advanced uh, automotive technician and I rebuilt the hydrostatic transmissions from GM like the turbo 400 and the 4L80Es and some of the manual Allison transmissions like the big honking transmissions from like five ton six wheel military vehicles and uh, I also have some experience in <coughs> excuse me uh, <coughs> I also have some experience in rebuilding diesel engines like the uh, 6.4, 6.5 turbo diesels that GM put in their uh, Humvees for the military and some of, the, some of the bigger engines for like the LVS and the Marine Corps like the 8V92TA which is 8 cylinders V block 92 cubic inches per cylinder turbocharged and supercharged and after cooled. Uh, it's a two cycle big diesel engine, but that's neither here nor there. So, there's a little bit about my background in auto mechanics, and I've been doing um, you know some of the backyard mechanic stuff since I was 16 with my dad and stuff like that. But, um, the point is, is that whenever you want to do like a performance application, you should probably talk to some of the people that specialize in that. Uh, I do not personally specialize in exhaust. I can do it. Uh, part of it is time, part of it is money, part of it is hassle. Uh, I can weld. However, I am not what I would consider a, a um, super proficient welder. I can tack weld and I can run a bead. But when you're talking about putting beads around a uh, round object and get it to seal and stick and all that other stuff. That's not really what I, what I I do. I can weld in what I can weld in a pinch, so to speak. But so again, going up here to Performance by Fisher, these guys are great. They're reasonably priced, and the reason I I go there is because. Like I said in the past, it doesn't work for me. But I had a Flowmaster exhaust on my 2013 Challenger RT, and I put all that on myself. And when I had it all welded up, and my brother actually welded it, uh, and we followed the directions, and we couldn't get that alignment right. So I took it to these guys, and uh, Kevin is uh, the owner, and he, he told me right out of the gate, he was like, look, it's hard to get these uh, these cars right, or the uh, flow masters right. Um, he recommended doing like a Magna Flow or a Borla. And at the time, I couldn't afford a Borla exhaust. And uh, the Magna Flows, I don't care for the sound of the Magna Flows. They're fine, they're, and they're quality exhaust, and they do what they're supposed to do. They increase your your gas mileage and give you some more horsepower. And, make the vehicle run more efficient but the point is is I didn't care for the sound and I am all about the sound and here's a shout out to Riley from RP Productions uh, when he did his muffler delete on his charger I was like eh, that sounds pretty good and you know he's right you know it's like a hundred bucks and I called Kevin the other day and he's like yeah I do it for about a hundred bucks so um, so I'm gonna go up here have him cut these mufflers out in, in the future when I when I save my, my pennies, I'm going to do a boiler exhaust on it uh, with the attack uh, mufflers. I'll do a full cat pack, and then once I get that done, uh, I'll save some more pennies and do the uh, uh, boiler headers and have Kevin install those. And so that's kind of the plan for my exhaust. Uh, and 
since we're talking about some modifications, some of the um, some of the things that you need to consider whenever you open up the the rear, you should probably consider doing the front. Now, just like Riley was talking about when he was when he put his uh, his low end air filter on his car, uh, he was like, well, I really don't feel, notice a whole lot of horsepower. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, 20 horsepower, you're not really going to notice. Uh, some of the things that you will notice with some of the cold air intakes is that you'll uh, notice the throttle response and you'll feel a little bit more power in the lower end of the RPM range. So as where you might not get, you know, but six or seven top end horsepower, you're looking at maybe 13, 14 throughout the RPM range, which is a significant amount. And if a vehicle runs more efficient, you're going to get better fuel mileage and you're going to get, uh, um, you'll get more fuel mileage and you're going to get more horsepower. Now, when you're looking at combining several different things, for example, if you get a cold air intake that says, hey, we'll give you 20, like K&N boasts. By the way, my personal opinion on K&N, I love K&N air filters. Their customer service and getting hold of their marketing department is like pulling teeth. When I did my 2013 uh, Challenger, uh, I was trying to get a hold of them and, uh, you know, trying to get uh, not a free product, but a discounted product. And in return I would do reviews these guys wouldn't return your phone calls which is fine I mean if you don't want to do it I mean a simple email saying hey uh, that's a negative we don't do that and I'm sure that these fine people are busy but when you talk to the people and this is the kicker and a company says I will get back with you tomorrow I expect a company to get back with me tomorrow now maybe I'm being you know optimistic or maybe I set my expectations too high when it comes to uh, uh, businesses and stuff but where I come from your word your bond if you don't follow up with your bond uh, and call people back if you say you're gonna call them back um, yeah I think you're being doing a disservice to your company and so I ended up getting a hold of uh, a uh, very cool guy from uh, Air Raid, and I sent him an email. He, he emailed me back in like 48 hours, and he's like, "Hey, send me some videos of some of the stuff you did." So I did, and he's like, "You know, we don't typically do this, but I'll take a chance on you." He sent me a $400 intake kit for my 13 Challenger, and this thing came in, and it was beautiful. And I actually have a video of the installation. I just haven't uploaded it to uh, uh, to YouTube because during that time uh, I went through a divorce and blah blah blah. And, you know that's neither here nor there and, um, so now that I'm back in making videos and stuff like that I plan on uploading some more of this stuff as I as I get it edited and worked on but uh, so yeah air raid uh, amazing and I we actually had a dyno took it up to the uh, UNOH University of Northwestern Ohio where they do their high performance stuff and they have a dyno there and we did the uh, Flowmaster exhaust and we ran a baseline for the car in stock and we added the um, the air raid kit and it was like 14 horsepower at the top end which is amazing for uh, uh, for an, an intake and but the best part is it was like 18 throughout the rpm range the highest peak uh, through the mid-range of the rpm range was like 18 and i was like holy crap that's that's significant and uh, ended up so stock it was getting like 20 miles to the gallon uh, or, yeah 20 miles to the gallon that was my average uh, which is what this gets it gets like anywhere between 18 and, and 19 on the uh, on the highway but when I did the air raid kit and the exhaust and uh, the Diablo tune on it it ended up being like 24.5 on the highway that was like uh, or I'm sorry, 28 on the highway, and I know what you're saying. We're uh, V8. That's bullshit, and you're a liar. Uh, I don't care if you believe me. Uh, you know, I'm not out here to get people to uh, convert to upgrading their cars. If you want to, great. If if not, I'm just saying that with my experience, it's like 28 on the highway. And don't get me wrong. In Ohio, it's fairly flat. You don't have a whole lot of hills, and you get on the highway out here, and it's just like a straight shot, you know, there's not a whole lot of up and down, going through curves and stuff like that.
that. So you can get in six gear and 1300 RPMs and just cruise the highway. Um, but with that said, it was the average ended up being like 24.5 because I do a lot of driving and I do a lot of highway driving. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to know what kind of modifications to do, those three are probably the the best that you're going to get by with increasing fuel mileage and uh, adding a little bit of horsepower to your uh, to your ride. Um, it ended up being with those three things. It ended up being like a 48 horsepower gain and you know if you consider you know close to 400 bucks for an air raid kit i think it's like eight nine hundred dollars for a Flowmaster master cat bag system which by the way i do not recommend for one reason they don't last uh, my I, I had that on the car for three years and it started to rust the tips started to get uh discolored and corrode and i do a pretty good job of keeping my vehicles clean and again ohio salt eh you know but it should it should last uh, which is the nice thing about magna flows they're actually uh, made from a better stainless steel so they're not going to corrode or whatever but again i don't care for the sound uh, borla's you know million mile warranty which is amazing uh, you know you can sit here and say that corsa has a lifetime warranty but really how many cars have you actually had have a million miles on them I've never had one. I'm just saying. But anyways, million mile warranty, wonderful stuff. So uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to bring up was the um, uh, warranties on vehicles and aftermarket modifications. Now, here's the deal with that. Now, I am not a, I am not an attorney. My girlfriend is, but I am not. But there is a uh, a law that happened back in there. It's actually an act. It's the, like the Muskungdom Act from Senator Muskungdom or whatever. Uh, and I'll get you the, the, the right name and the right act or whatever. But it happened in the 70s when people were modifying their vehicles. And then uh, people, you know, were at first they were voiding their warranties. They'd do one little modification and the warranties were void. And so in the 70s, they came out with this bill that said that uh, basically, that if your vehicle, if you modify your vehicle, the modified parts are not covered under factory warranty. Well, that's easy, right? That's to be expected. If I put an air raid kit on my car and my air filter stops working, uh, yeah, I can't expect Chrysler to replace it with an air raid filter. That's that's horseshit. Um, but uh, however, if I do uh, the exhaust. Uh, that exhaust is not under warranty by the factory. However, if I do the exhaust and then the engine goes out, and they say, well, you modified your exhaust, we're not gonna cover the engine under warranty. That is actually illegal uh, because the dealership has to uh, prove that the exhaust caused the failure. Now, if the exhaust did call the, cause the failure, then, well, guess what? They won't cover it under warranty. Um, however, like, if that does happen, you can contact the uh, the uh, the company that manufactured the product. You can let them know what happened, and maybe they'll reimburse you. That's not a guarantee, whatever. Now you have you may have some uh, stuff in civil court when it comes to like if they claim on their website that this part does will not harm your engine or void your warranty, and then it does, then you probably have something in civil court. Now keep in mind, I am not a, an attorney by any means, um, but you know if you're curious about this stuff, I'll give you some of the uh, the research material, and you can make the decisions for yourself. That way, you can better protect yourself from. Uh, let's say less than honest people but so yeah that's that and uh, I'm almost here at the muffler shop and we'll give you guys some shots of the exhaust and stuff so uh, until next time